Hello everybody and welcome to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth, otherwise known as World of Warcraft Retail. Robert Rambles here and thank you for joining me today. So in this series I'm going to set out to see exactly what it would be like to be a new player to the game in the year 2020. If I came into the game today and I wanted to get into retail, what would that experience be like? We are going to find out because people often ask me, Robert, should I play World of Warcraft? And it's really hard to recommend anybody play at this point because I don't really know what the leveling experience is. Battle for Azeroth is one of the first and only expansions that I never leveled an alt through. So I'm not going to say much more except to say that I'm going to be playing on Alliance, which I'm not at all familiar with. And we're going to be playing a Druid, which uh, I'm not really familiar with any classes besides the ones you see on the screen as far as Battle for Azeroth classes go. But it's always been one of my favorite classes, so that's what I'm going to go with. You can see here what we've created. And yeah, I just want to say before we get in, um, I've been playing a lot of Classic recently, obviously. For those of you who are not new to the channel, you already know that. So it's going to give me a pretty good perspective on what this experience is like leveling-wise. I'm really excited to see what, that's, what that feels like. So let's just get into it, shall we? Led by their indomitable king, Gen Greymane, the proud citizens of Gilneas once stood with the Alliance against the vile, orcish horde that sought to conquer all of Lordaeron. Gilneas survived, but in the chaotic years following the Second War, the mighty kingdom drew ever inward. Distrustful of their former allies, the Gilneans erected a mighty wall at the borders of their land, closing off their nation and their hearts from an ever-darkening world. Now, many years later, as the seemingly unstoppable undead scourge marches across Lordaeron, human civilization once again teeters on the brink of destruction. As war and terror close in all around them, the citizens of Gilneas are faced with one terrible truth. Their mighty wall cannot hold back the dead for much longer. And worse, Rumors of a new threat have arisen within the kingdom's borders, of feral, nightmare creatures that walk upright as men, but hunt and howl as wolves. So, this experience uh, leveling the Worgen, I think, is probably going to be a more cinematic experience than some of the other the starting zones. Secured, and the gates manned by two guards at all times. No one gets in, no one gets out. Yeah. Alright, you heard the man hop to it as nobody moves. So, yeah, this is going to be telling the story of, I guess, how Worgen, how everybody in Gilneas basically Gilneas become Worgen. We protected Gilneas during the Northgate Rebellion. We will protect Gilneas from whatever this new threat may be. Unless the threat is us. Alright, let's adjust some settings here. Music is actually quite good. Stand ready, guards. We don't know how many intruders we're dealing with, but the headlands are overrun and we're cut off from the harbor towns. Expect to be outnumbered. All right. I wonder how much flavor text he has. Probably quite a bit. Uh, so this is going to be a no add-ons playthrough. It's a little loud, isn't it? I want the perimeter secured and the gates manned by two guards. All right. Prince Liam. No one gets in, no one gets out. Let's take a look at this guy. Uh, again, no add-ons on this playthrough. It's going to be as if I'm a new player experiencing game, the game for the first time with little to no guidance. Uh, it'll probably actually feel like that a lot of the time. What are you still doing here, citizen? Haven't you heard? The city's we under complete Gilneas lockdown. From the scourge. We protected Gilneas we'll let him North finish. Rebellion. We will protect Gilneas from whatever this new threat may be. Mm -hmm. Go see Lieutenant Walden. He'll give you further directions for evacuation. Find Lieutenant Walden in the northwestern end of the Merchant Square. All right, uh, clearly marked on our map. Stand ready, guards. Not really a lot of question of where we have to go. What do we start with? We start with Solar Wrath. So, yeah, different from uh, our classic experience. We have Solar Wrath, hurl a ball of solar energy at the target, dealing eight nature damage. Seems straightforward enough. Um, well, this was the guy we were supposed to meet. He's dead. Deep claw marks run through the man's corpse. 
The lieutenant appears to have died from several wounds. From severe wounds also. The prince might want to hear this news. You hear the sound of fighting coming from the market. Alright, things are already going to shit. We just got in. Oh, look at this. Alright, it's time to blast a few of these guys. Look at that. Very nice. I'm assuming our staff does basically nothing. It's not awful. We need to turn some settings on. Uh, let's turn on auto loot. I think that's really all I need right now. I do want to turn off the names. Uh, if we can figure out how to do that. Interface, names. Alright, let's keep players on. Here we go. Let's maybe just do quest NPCs and see how that works. That looks a lot cleaner to me visually. I love just having the immersion of being able to look around without all the V-bars up and without all the uh, character names on, you know what I mean? That's how I play classic with all the names and V-bars turned off. It's you again. Looks like looks like you're not the one one to hide in the face of danger. Very well then. All hell breaks loose. Morgan, my father had warned me that Archmage Urgle's creations had run amok. But where are they coming from? I suppose it doesn't matter. Help us make quick work of them. We'll show them what Gilnean men are made of. And women. Alright, evacuate to the Merchant Square. The civilians aren't safe here anymore, not even inside their homes. We're doing our best to stop the Worgen from getting indoors, but their numbers are too great. Help us by evacuating the civilian homes. My father's army in the prison district will be able to better protect them. Alright, so have them evacuate to the prison district. Let's take out a few of these guys who are just making basically just noise near us. Oh yeah, this is what we look like in human form, so when I did the character creation, I just focused on what we were going to look like in worgen form, but obviously we have a human form as well. Uh, we won't be using much of it once we have uh, the options. Let's just adjust a couple of things. You guys let me know about the settings, especially the volume. I got a bad feeling. Alright, Gwen Armstead. Listen, we can't let our supplies get destroyed. With Gilneas walled off from the outside world, we won't last through winter if, we're, if we lose much more of our stock. Please help me salvage what you can. We will get a bag out of that. Long live Greymane. Which is good, we need bag space. Alright, let's take on some of these guys. We're obviously not in threat of really being killed at this point at all. It seems we can just spam Solar Wrath. We're not going to run out of mana, I don't I don't see. Seems like it would be hard to run out of mana at this point. We do need to find some of these civilians who are supposedly hiding. We're going to salvage some supplies while we're at it. I just haven't seen like any civilians yet. They, in my opinion, these guys should probably be aggressive, would make more sense. I didn't realize the V-bars were still on. It's also marking enemy NPCs still with names, I wonder why I should have thoroughly investigated this. There we go. That'll work for now. Oh, we can go, we can click on some of these doors. Oh, okay. Oh, but we can't go inside, actually. And in fact, we get thrown into combat with one that comes out. Interesting. It's almost like someone inside turned into one, right? Because otherwise, how would he have been inside of there? It doesn't really make sense. Unless someone in there turned into a worgen and attacked the people within. 
That's how I interpret that anyway. So for the citizens, we are looking for doors. Okay, that makes more sense. I need to get closer. I was looking for a cowering group of citizens. There's one after me. I okay. don't have a target. Doesn't become aggressive or targetable till it's right in our face. We have all the worgen that we need, so we don't really need to worry about defeating anymore if we don't want to. They're worth a negligible amount of experience. Let's grab these last two crates right here. That'll be the rest of the salvage supplies that we need. I see another door there as well. And that'll be the last house we need, so we'll have completed all three of these quests pretty expediently. Knock knock! Trick or treat! Not targetable till he's hitting us. Ooh, we got a small blue, blue pouch right off the bat. Uh, if you've seen some of my other playthroughs, I feel like it's pretty good luck on a character to get a bag right away. It's also very useful. We're also going to get the bag from completing one of these quests, so let's turn these in. Gilneas. We're gonna get a wolf fur coat and some experience and then he has nothing else for us right now. Take Let's heart, equip, men. equip that. We must protect our city. Looks like a carpet, like a, just a throw rug basically. In fact, eventually I'll probably turn it off. Uh, interface, can we even do that anymore? Can you turn off your cape? in retail WoW anymore without going to the transmogrification guy? You probably can't, can you? <laughs> get Gavin or get going. Uh, here are the supplies. Farewell. And she gave us a, another six slot bag, so right away our inventory space is doing rather well. We got a new ability, Moonfire. A quick beam of lunar energy burns the enemy for two arcane damage and then an additional 22 arcane damage over 22 seconds. So it deals some upfront damage and then a damage over time. And now, Prince Liam oh, my has more for us to do. It's time for you to leave. Go to the military district with the other civilians. Check in with Gwen Armstead when you cross the bridge to the southeast to see if everyone's okay. I will stay here with the guards and cover the civilians' retreat. Go now. That is an order. Alright, a little pushy, but we're on our way. We're going as fast as our legs can carry us. What legs? Uh, meanwhile, all around us, hell continues to break loose. But we've been given a direct order, and that order was to retreat. But not that way. That would be silly. It would be silly if any of these streets led out. Alright, where is it corralling us? Over here, down the stairs, obviously. I could look at my map if I really wanted to. That's interesting. Click this to toggle on or off the help frame. Okay, that's just help frames. So if you were new, you would probably want to read all of these. You can do so if you want to pause. Uh, we're not going to do that. We know how to basically use this. All right, we've got quite a gathering of characters here. What can I do for you? We're all fine here. A little shaken, but alive. The wilds, or the winds, know your name, apparently. Most of us made it here alive, but there are worgen on this side of the city as well. We're going to continue heading south once everyone's accounted for. That reminds me, someone was asking about you. It was that harvest witch, Celestine. She said the winds spoke your name. You'd best hurry. We're going to need you to get back to the worgen smashing once you're done conversing with nature. Good so day. that must be our quest, our class trainer, I'm assuming. They're trying to give us our class trainer quest and work it into the crap that's going on around us. I guess it's working. Any friend of Greymane is a friend of mine. Alright, so here What's she is. Story? 
We have been blessed today. You are alive and well. I've taught you all that is practical for now. It is time we joined with the other survivors. The others mentioned that King Greymane and his royal guard are just south of here. We should go there and seek safety in numbers. Speak to King Gen Greymane in the military district. It's interesting that we have a trainer even though we're getting all of our abilities automatically now in World of Warcraft. As you saw, we got Moonfire when we hit the level for Moonfire instead of having to speak to our trainer. Keep your chin up, so now she's just kind of a character, not really... Ain't you a chip of she's, one? You can see she's not going to teach us any abilities, so that's a huge change from uh, classic back? to retail, is that our class trainers are just there for flavor now. They don't actually teach us anything. They might have quests like that from time to time, I'm assuming, but beyond that... Alright, here's King attention. Gen Greymane. All I do, I do for Gildan. He's not, he's not looking bad if we could see him past his horse. There we go. You've done well in coming here. If we Gildan stick together, we might yet defeat this terrible enemy. Old Divisions. Lord Darius Crowley has been called many things. Rebel, traitor, terrorist. Before the Civil War, I called him friend. I never blamed him for leading an insurrection against me. His land and people were separated from Gilneas by a stone wall, but we had no choice. Regardless, Crowley is exactly the type of person we need now. Enter Stormward Prison and ask Captain Broderick about Crowley's whereabouts. I'd send my own men, but there's still bad blood. Okay, so we're gonna seek help from this guy who we've been on the wrong side of for a while. Stand strong. Hero. He's in the prison. I'm sure, he'll be delighted to see us. And then Lord Godfrey, what do you have? You have an awesome top hat, sir. Fine by me if King Greymane wants you to risk your life to rescue some known traitor. Do me a favor and do something useful while you're out there and kill these cursed flea bags. Kill five a Bloodfang Morgan for some bracers. Yeah, we, we can do that. Ooh. So now we can kill even more effectively with Moonfire, kind of helping us with some damage over time. You can see the ticks of damage going off. I do like the floating combat text just to let you know like what's happening with your abilities. With, you know, keeping the V-bars and everything else mostly turned off. It's a good balance, I think. It's not exactly difficult to take them down. For Greyman wants to save Crowley? Has he gone mad? I don't understand why the king wants to waste time saving his hide, but if you want to risk your life, then be my guest. Crowley and his men are holed up upstairs, probably plotting against the king as we speak. Uh, speak to Darius Crowley upstairs in the Stoneward prison and Gil- okay. We must face our yeah, you guys hold the line down here for me, okay? We're gonna go have an adult conversation up here. all the way up here and across the bridge. It's kind of a weird way to get into a prison, but this is what's happening, so. Um, I don't know if we need to be fighting this guy, but I think he's attacking our quest giver, so. All right, let's find out. What happens if we just kill all these guys? I need a target. Yeah, thank you, that's, that's better. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. He needs a shirt, quick. Greyman's right. These beasts do not give a damn about our politics. Gilneas needs to stand together. Okay. Guys, let's let's be reasonable here. We've got quests to read, okay? We can't do that with all this fighting. Cap, one of those mangy fleabags got Dempsey real good. We cannot move him until we stabilize his bleeding. 
give us a hand at holding back these mongrels. All right, let's let's take this quest so we can hold back these mongrels and phase into a different part of the world where they're not constantly attacking us. Like they're dealing most of the damage. Well, we can just lay down some uh, moonfire spam. I need to target something. First. All right. Survival holding back the worgen for two minutes. Okay, that's fine. I don't, I don't see a timer, but we'll just trust it. We'll trust the game to keep time for us, I guess, in this case. Mm, but are we going to have to fight anything else for two minutes, or are we just going to stand here? It really seems like there's a potential for us to simply stand here. Which, you know, we could... It could be a photo opportunity. Could play a little game that I like to call Spot the Thumbnail Time. Look, he's jumping. They're jumping back there. That's... <laughs> here we go. I need a target. You do need a target. We need more targets, I would say. I could deal with quite a few more targets. Even as a new player, I would probably be, like, wondering... If I broke the game at this point. We haven't. They're just spawning at an exceptionally slow rate for the rate at which we can actually kill them, which is quite quick. I could just basically my our mana our mana's not even going down. Our mana region is so great that Oh, we don't have a cost yet, guys. Our abilities have a zero cost at this part in the game. Do you know that? I did not know that. So a new player coming into the game now has no idea uh, that their abilities are going to cost mana. Is it going to tell us when our abilities start to actually cost us something? Or is it simply going to change and not tell the player anything is different until they can't cast anymore and they're wondering why? Um, I hate that change. To be quite frank. We do what we must. Why would it have a zero mana cost for both of our spells? That makes no sense. You want to introduce players to that aspect really early and explain to them there's a resource and your, your ability's cost. Alright, let's move on. Listen, for the first time since the Civil War, I agree with Greymane. Now is the time to put aside our quarrel. It sure doesn't look like these beasts care much whether you're a brebel or a royal. Send word back to Greymane. My men will join his. There's a safe house not far from here, in Josiah's cellar. My lads flashed... Stash some heavy artillery there. Tell our king that my arsenals are now at his disposal. Well, that was easy enough. Let's get out of here before we have to, like, moonfire 7,000 more guys. Alright, we'll moonfire just one more guy. And we can't even do that alone. He's gonna come help us. Double thanks. You too, man. Might as well just do this. It's not very effective. Holy cow, other players? That's interesting. All right. A druid professions, you know. Could go herbalism alchemy. Could go skinning leather working. I think I'm gonna go skinning leather working. Let me know what you guys think. I wanna see what that experience is like. Again, remember, we're taking this from the perspective of someone who's new to World of Warcraft, the kinds of things you might try to do in a open, in a role-playing game, you know, like craft gear for yourself to wear. Will that work out for us? We're going to see. All right, let's turn in the side quest first. If I hadn't seen you kill a few of the mangy things with my own eyes, I'd think you did not complete the task I asked of you. Yeah, you seem like that sort. Thank you for the bracers. We're level 4 now, if you didn't notice, guys. Has to make sure that we know. Uh, let's see, the rebel arsenal. The arsenal Crowley speaks of is in the cellar of a building just west of here. It is unnerving that artillery was smuggled inside of the city by my enemies, yet it might end up saving Gilnean lives today. Find Josiah Avery and requisition the rebel artillery. We will put the weapons to good use. We will have justice for the fallen. It seems things have settled down some. Um, this guy is going to be where? 
beneath us. Um, he's in a cellar, so that would totally make sense. Let's just try to find the entrance. Oh, hello. Oh, they're actually aggressive now. That's, that's excellent. What I will do... is I'll move our target frame down here. I do want to lock it so that it doesn't get dragged all over the place. Here's the cellar. Oh, okay. For some reason I expected to zone in. Ooh, these are some pretty damn big guns they've got stashed in here. Okay. What can I do for you? This guy is freaking out. Don't look at me. Leave me alone. Okay. Let the light of the new All right. What's going on? You've been bitten by a worgen. It's probably nothing, but it sure stings a little. So he just turned into a worgen and bit us. Uh, we kind of saw that happen. You were bitten by a worgen. The wound looks minor. Maybe it'll go away with time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's probably fine. We're totally fine. Uh, but thanks for being a little bit too late, Lorna Crowley. He turned into one of them, didn't he? How do we even begin to fight an enemy that can do this to us? My father's arsenal is certainly a good start, I suppose. Worgen are hiding in the alleys ahead. Take one of my mastiffs to find them more easily. We're going to need to clear the way ahead if we're going to move these cannons above ground. This mastiff will help you find the hidden um, Worgen. Okay. Yeah. What is it? Okay, we got a mastiff now, guys. Hold the barricade. Do not give them an inch. Uh, and now, where are we going exactly? We're going out, yeah, apparently. Wait. Just up and out. And they're gonna help us find the worgen. What is this for? Oh, just to summon him if we need him. I guess. I mean, I can see the worg, and I don't know if I, I need, need to... Oh first. shit, he disappeared. We do need the dog. The other thing about retail is there's no target tagging, so as long as we deal damage to an enemy, we can share credit and loot with other players. Which, you know, it doesn't really matter how you feel about it, it just is what it is. It's there for player convenience, and in 2020, that's a thing that matters, so... There's nothing worse than getting your target stolen from you by someone who's like a melee character when you're casting, but... It's a little realistic though, right? But in retail, or in Battle for Azeroth, uh, we're gonna share credit with any other player that attacks something on our faction. And those of you who are like much more familiar with retail than I am, if I say something that's totally wrong, please correct me. Uh, because, yeah, I haven't played a lot of retail recently at all. The last expansion that I played in, or the last patch that I played anything in was 8.0.5. Like, I don't even think I played anything in 8.1. I might have raided once in 8.1, but... Most of my raiding was done in the original release content of Battle for Azeroth, and I quickly grew tired of the game. Specifically, not really caring for Azerite armor, and then later I didn't really care for essences, so it never really pulled me back in. All right, that was really easy. Make it quick. Let's get our staff. Message to Greymane. It's time. We'll take it from here. Tell King Greymane that my father's arsenal will be at his disposal. There's more than enough firepower here to blow the worgen from here to the North Sea. I don't disagree with you. And you have dogs, and those could be very useful as well. As we've seen. Hail, champion. All these years after the war, and Crowley was hiding, still hiding enough firepower of the, in that cellar to level half the district. It might have to come to that, unfortunately. We can't open fire just yet. There is a civilian trapped on the other side of the prison. Not just any civilian, either. Krenin Aranus is one of the most brilliant alchemists this world has known. 
One of his potions saved my daughter, Tess, from dying soon after being born. Take my horse and rescue him. Krennin must live. Alright, um, a vehicle quest. We're gonna run. We're auto running. I don't know if I'm in control of any of this. I'm I'm not. We're not in control, guys. We're just we're on a horse though. So well welcome to being on a horse at like level four. Uh we clicked an ability and now we've completed an objective. Okay. Again, okay, so he's jumped onto our horse from the roof. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We learned that if we smash buttons, we will win. Perfect. Thank you. I owe you my life. You owe the developers your life, sir. We did nothing but smash the one key. All right, let's turn this in. Speak. To to uh, to Godfrey, actually. Putting those howitzers to good use. Excellent. We've got Aranus. Fire at will. Time to regroup. We've done all we can here. Let King Greymane know we've bought some time. I have a feeling it won't be long till the Worgen are back in force. We'll need to fall back to Greymane Court and to the west. If that's the case, it's the last place we can hold without being trapped like fish in a barrel. We're being further and further forced back into the heart of the city, I guess? Basically, is what, I'm, is what I'm getting. Doesn't look well for us, uh, that's for sure. Can we go this way? We can if we want to fight through a bunch of guys. Which I don't really mind at this point. Yeah, guys, I got this. Don't worry. No help needed here. We really don't need help, I guess. Although we don't have a heal yet. I don't have a target. I feel like we're just gonna keep aggroing them this way, so let's just keep running and see who we pull out of this mess. Alright, we've got at least one that we've pulled. There we go. And we'll let our natural regen kick in here, and I'm sure that will be fine. If we wanted. Uh, no, we couldn't. We don't. Usually they start you with some food, but we didn't. Let's equip the gear that we have. Bracers and some gloves. Have your father wondering whether his child is alive or not. My men and I will hold up for country. For family. We're left with very few choices. What we do next will be a critical decision. My people have endured much to take up arms against each other, Darius. The Worgen would have never stood a chance. Alright, so they're they're he's got a shirt on finally, and it looks like a badass, of course. And they're coming to terms with each other, which is good, but maybe too late. You don't have to do this. You've done more than enough already, but if you decide to stay, I'd be a fool to turn you away. My men have fortified their position inside the cathedral and are ready for what comes next. I'm about to head there and take as many of these flea-ridden devils with me as I can. You're welcome to come along for the ride. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? We're gonna slam our one key again. Oh, this time we got a template to lay down. Alright, so that's fine. Let's round up as many of them as we can. Let's keep them off our asses. Or no, we're, are we trying to get them on our ass? Yeah, we're trying to get them to follow us. I don't know why they sound like pigs. That's Oh, that's our horse that sounds like that. I don't know why our horse sounds like a squealing pig. It's very odd. I should just be spamming this, obviously. There we go. That'll be the last of it, I think. Ready for turn-in. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's turn it in, shall we? I'm gonna let him run his course. I don't really... I'm not assuming we have to click anything, do we? I have no idea. I'm assuming he's gonna take us where we need to go to turn this in. And in the meantime, we're just gonna get our asses kicked. Maybe if we stop throwing explosives at them, they'll just be chill. 
Yeah, we're good. Let's let's wrap this up, shall we? I feel like we probably could have got like a hundred in that time frame. Okay, perfect. I got a bad feeling. Tobias Mist Mist Mantle. Brace yourself. Here they come. The time has come. If we're going to put a dent in their numbers, the time is now. We have the position. We have the firepower. All that remains to be seen is whether we have the courage. And I sure don't see a coward standing in front of me. A slay 80 bluffing stalkers using the rebel cannons. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. Let's use all the rebel cannons. No, not that, Robert. The cannons, damn you. Spam your one key. WoW has taught me so far as a new player that I only need to press one key in order to win. And that one key is, uh, ironically, the one key. So, okay. Let's see if that ever changes. What's your story? You've done well. You've done more than could be asked of any Gilnean. We're running low on ammunition. It's time to regroup inside. Never surrender, sometimes retreat. That's a good philosophy. I agree with that, totally. We had enough ammunition to carry on the Civil War for another month, yet the Worgen's numbers are such that we're nearly spent. We don't want to be caught out here in the open when that happens. Fall back inside the cathedral and report to the boss. I'm sure old Crowley will know what to do next. He, he's the boss now? Wasn't the king the boss a little bit ago? Alright, we're going in, guys. Outside, it's getting too overwhelming. We're all gonna hide in the church now. That doesn't seem like the ending to every zombie movie, horror movie ever that, you know, has a force invading a small town. Of course we'd end up uh, in a cathedral. And, we yeah. Do what we must. Here's, uh, here's the boss. We've given them everything we have, and yet still they come. Do not worry. We'll slay many more before today is over. I like your spirit, guy. Last stand. We've got good we've got a good checkpoint here. Feel free to say a prayer if that's your sort of thing. Take courage and let's kill these mutts. Alright, let's do it. I guess we're gonna do a kill quest. Real fast here. Oh we have we have a heal now. Regrowth heals a friendly target for 55 and another 22 over 12 seconds. So we can cast this on ourselves. And we're gonna target. and we're gonna heal over time, so it's too far away. It's too far away. We literally just have to tag them and then the NPCs can kill them and we're getting credit. Again, we only need to know how to press one button basically to win so far. Here you go, guys. Light him up. They didn't really attack this guy, though. Only the ones that spawn back here do they really give a shit about. Simple enough. God, we cast Wrath so fast. It's basically just like you pound the one key. We will prevail. Firstly, I'd like to point out his badass sword on top of him having an awesome rifle. Slash sawed off shotgun, is that what that is? They've not stopped coming, yeah.
To which I must ask, is there even a shred of humanity left within you? Perhaps we will find out soon enough. All right. Pretty cinematic. Very cool, though. Would be a pretty interesting experience for a new player, I guess, to to be uh, for it to be this story driven so early on. We look like a sad puppy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be a good place for us to take a little bit of a break. And when we come back, we will see if they are going to let us out of here or not. We are already level 5, which I feel like is really freaking good. And we've got our racial ability, Dark Flight. Activates your true form, increasing current movement speed by an additional 40% for 10 seconds. Very cool. Alright. Thank you guys for joining me today. I do really appreciate the support. Let me know what you think about... Uh, about retail in general, about Battle for Azeroth, about the new player experience as it is today. We'll see more of it. I'm really interested to have comparisons to Classic to look at. And yeah, until next time, take care and wish me luck. Bye now.